Passing this bill to create an additional facility for juvenile offenders, along with the assurance that we keep the existing facility operational to house more adult offenders is a step in the right direction towards safer communities. We need to lock up violent criminals. This is a good first step in doing that. Sincerely, Rebecca Clayfish. So, why are we here today? Not because Tony Evers did one darn thing but because we realize that crime is out of control in places like Milwaukee. Governor Evers has done nothing to address it. And while I still have sincere doubts about no plan, no location, no budget, when I heard from somebody who actually took the time to contact us explaining why it was important, that's what a leader does. That's why we're acting today. There were just now levied uh, accusations that Governor Tony Evers did nothing to help this plan advance. And having walked the path of this bill from the beginning to the end, I can tell you that those statements are a version of history that are not true. Governor Evers served on our bipartisan study committee. He, at the time, was the superintendent of the Department of Public Instruction. Now, the Gov Governor Evers is elected in 2018, he has a transition team, and the first seminal document that he puts out is his first biennial budget in the winter of 2019. He might not have written a letter to the Speaker of the Assembly, but he included the necessary funding to finish this four years ago. 